Hi. How you doing? I hope you're well. I'm Grimoth. It's been a while. This video is a crucial update on me, on us, together. Along the way, I'll present exclusive looks at what's been happening behind the scenes. If that entices you, stick around. If not, take care. Before I get started, warning. I don't want to have a conversation about this. Yes, I'm here for viewer interactivity. This update is an exception. <laughs> Actually, the past several months have been an exception. In short, I'm here right now to inform you. And I'm not looking for input. Wow, great intro. Good work, me. Now, let's keep burying the lead. Let's talk about YouTube partnerships. Do you have an educated opinion? I have an educated opinion. I've been getting recruitment drivel for years. Join now for big money, big prizes, best deals ever, highest rates, amazing access to intelligent people will promote the tits off you, don't be a fool, join now. I still catalog these. They're often copy pasta absurdity, hype machines in email form. How could I be a fool for missing out on these opportunities? <laughs> well, actually, in September 2014, I met someone who didn't treat me that way. Claw Digital. It was a subgroup of the Freedom Network. They contacted me, and I had good conversations with Will, the head of Claw Digital. He never insulted my intelligence, and he readily addressed my concerns. Yeah, I know, what a concept. So let's zero in on past Grimoth here. He had better cognitive abilities than I do right now. He was well informed. What were his concerns? First, past Grimoth wanted to feel like he was in control of his YouTube channel. It was his hobby, not his profession, and he had no desire to treat it different. He didn't want to be told what games to play or what banners to display, or whether he needed to shill a corporation, or whether he needed to give every video an intro and outro. He didn't want to be locked into something he'd regret. Second, Pass Grimmith was concerned about being alone on YouTube. He had heard horror stories about YouTube cracking down on people by mistake. He wanted support from a group in case he ever got a copyright or personal conduct strike on his account. Third, Past Grimoth had considerable feedback from viewers, like you, who wanted a way to support him. Uh, and those viewers asked whether he'd run adverts on his channel. They wanted to give financially, in the way they could, for all the enjoyment they had had. Let's get on with it. Tying into that, Past Grimoth knew his father was dying, and that any form of income would really make a difference. With those ideas in mind, I signed a no-lock-in contract. I know that's news to most of you because, well, I never announced it. And what changed? Nothing. If you're like me and run two ad blockers, I never made a big deal about it. Never advertised the fact that I had some advertisements uh, for those people who wanted me to have advertisements so that they could support me. I'm terrible at self-promotion. I still had control over my content. I just had a few ads. Well, that changed. Claw Digital got bought not long after that by another subgroup of Freedom Network called Zycon. And Zycon, in turn, left Freedom at some point, I don't remember when, uh, to do something else related to YouTube. I couldn't actually tell you. In short, I lost Will, my contact, and... I think I'm not actually under any umbrella, or I'm just like within like the greater sphere. Anyway, I started receiving occasional uh, PMs from viewers like Jake, who worriedly noted that all my videos had been taken over by ad monsters. To this day, I have never received a good answer for why I lost control over my YouTube channel. Why, no matter how many times I edited all my videos to show overlay ads, they all eventually switched back to running long, unskippable ads. I've spoken with several members of the Freedom Network who have attempted to convince me that the problem was on my end. And, you know, 
I never challenged that. I... I was worried about other things. So every month I'd just queue up YouTube, edit all my videos, and I stopped paying attention. Uh, well, uh, those folks from Freedom Network were right. The problem was on my end because I allowed them to insult my intelligence. I allowed them to take advantage of me while I was too distracted. That ended yesterday. I've pulled out of the contract and I hit the kill switch on monetization. I am... Um, I am sorry to all of you. I can't fathom how many people there were whose sole exposure to me was a video with that grossness on it. Fuck this guy. Why should I watch him? He insults my time. Because not everyone is in a situation where they can run convenient ad blockers, you know? You might be on someone else's computer. Like a kind of workplace. <laughs> anyway, I, I get that sentiment. I, I judged people on YouTube partly by turning off my ad blockers and seeing what popped up. Nowadays, I'm not so quick to judge. How about that? Yay, me. Our next topic is Hitbox, or as some of you call it, Beta, and Shitbox, and other pejoratives. And I get why. <laughs> Hitbox has a slew of problems, but I've tolerated them for the same reason I moved to Hitbox in the first place. Quality interaction. Minimal chat delay. We can almost hold a conversation when we're on Hitbox. Unfortunately, Hitbox, like my life, has fallen in quality this year. I dislike the interface changes, and the service has become increasingly unstable. Many regular viewers experience frequent stuttering and interruptions of service, even when the broadcaster drops no frames, and even when the viewers have no connection problems. That's not okay. Last year, I signed a contract with Hitbox to provide you all transcoding options. However, these options are barely mitigating the problem, let alone fixing it. So, yesterday I typed up an email to my Hitbox contact. Hawkeye is head of community for Hitbox. In my dealings, he's been good. I've got no problem with him. Over the years, he's quickly answered my concerns and queries. This email announcing um, my decision not to renew uh, my contract was no exception. I won't post his reply here, but I will say that he gets it. I wish more people were like him. So, that takes care of business, literally. Uh, for my active subscribers on Hitbox, cancel your subscription. I'm sorry Hitbox broke the emotes. Thank you for supporting me. I guess I've delayed this long enough. I want to talk about our future together, but I can't do that without telling you how I feel right now. <laughs> I am unwell. I have awful composure. I still haven't reconciled my feelings. I am so angry and bitter. I am a howling whirlwind of rage and grief. My father is dead. I knew that would happen. I know others have lost more. I know others have fewer chances, fewer choices. I know my physical pain is because of how upset I am, yet I can barely control myself. I love control. I also love my memory that has faded this year. I have trouble remembering videos I've watched, games I've played, books I've read, food I've cooked, words I've said. I sat in front of a Scrabble board last month. I enjoy word games I could barely play. I feel dulled, like there's fog in my head and nuanced thought requires me to rip my ideas from the bottom of a swamp. And all the while, I'm resentful. I want to lash out at people who can spend time with loved ones I no longer have. Those are unreasonable thoughts. Yet they pound in my head. They bleed into everything I do. I live surrounded by memories of my father. I struggle with how he kept calling me his... <coughs> 
with how he kept calling me his hero, even at the end. I want to grab his urn and shake it. Why won't the pieces fit? Why can't I will myself to be functional again? I enjoy video games less. When I try to record, I, I either barely speak during the video and end up with, say, like, you know, a 20, 25 minute video with like 12, 15 minutes of dead air, or I lose self-control. I've, I've stopped role-playing. I interact with people less. I barely log onto YouTube. I've shared my gameplay experiences for several years and enjoyed our conversations together. Now I wonder whether I even want to have those conversations again. Not only do all those things matter less, but I'm, I'm struggling to identify what things matter right now. Our future together may be no future. I have willed myself into recording gameplay with all of those results I just described before. Um, last month in October, I willed myself into regularly broadcasting as part of a self-rehab uh, where I told like viewers who either just happened to be on my hitbox or were following me on there or who pay attention to my social media, like, look, this is, I'm just sticking to low commitment gameplay. I need to see whether I'm still, whether I still want to do this uh, in the future. And the best way I can think of to try and do that is see how much enjoyment I get from even attempting to do it. It's, it's a rarity that, you know, I've attempted to impose a schedule on myself like I did then, where I just got up and I was like, sometime during this day, we're going to broadcast on Hitbox. Um, and ultimately it was enjoyable. <sighs> so there's that. <laughs> I don't have any answers. Uh, though I, I like the idea of continuing our time together. Um, but uh, if I can't, uh, then I will be sending refunds for the unfulfilled rewarding the rewarders requests for folks like Tiny Shopkeeper, Dolwyn, and Trusick, and several others. Uh, whenever I opened up that op opportunity uh, back in 2013, you know, I made clear I don't know how long it will take to fill, um, but I will get around to doing it. Um, and at this point, uh, if I can't do it, then all that money goes back and pretty much won't hear from me here again. Earlier this year, I said, uh, however, that I wanted to complete those remaining requests before fall started. But earlier this year, I also thought my father would live till Christmas. It just so happens that uh, doctors uh, had a bit of an overestimation there. In short, I don't know what happens now. I will likely try more live broadcasts in upcoming weeks on Hitbox or anywhere else. I will not make announcement videos for those, or at least I don't think I will. Beyond that, I'll um, see whether I can reconcile my feelings, whether I can enjoy sharing gameplay experiences with others like I once did, or um, whether there's nothing left for me. Um, on a, uh, on a final note, uh, this has been finalized, uh, I will be going on a trip in December, uh, while I still have the, uh, the means and the motivation to do so, I'm, uh, looking to see friends, and one of them is Leaf Beeline, and so I've, uh, bought myself some plane tickets, and I'll be, uh, traveling there. To visit him I, from December 1st to I believe it is December 11th so uh, if nothing else ends up popping up here then uh, keep an eye on uh, lethal on his uh, hitbox stuff on his Twitter stuff because uh, we'll probably end up doing something together 
Anyway, that's the end of the show here, folks. I uh, tried to keep this concise and not ramble uh, out of a out of me valuing your time. Um, take care. Goodbye.